But let's talk about Juan Soto a little bit and who he is at this stage of his career. He is one year away from free agency. Premier offensive player, no question about that. Defense and base running, not totally what you would want, but an elite, elite offensive guy. He's going to make probably an arbitration about $30 million this year. So that, in theory, should depress the price, should make the Padres less demanding in what they get back for Juan Soto than what they gave for him when they acquired him with two plus years of control remaining. It's not the same kind of trade. You're taking on all that money and you're getting far less control. So who can do this kind of trade? Which teams can make this kind of deal? It would have to be a team most likely with money to spend and a team that believes it can extend Juan Soto. Good luck with that. Scott Boris is his agent. He wants to go to free agency. He's going to want to set a standard with Juan Soto. Most teams can take on a single salary of $30 million, even the Tampa Bay Rays, a team like that, for one year. The question is, would such a team be willing to give up the prospects necessary to get Soto? Maybe the Rays would. They're a team that has been aggressive in these kinds of things over the years that they haven't really succeeded in any of their quests. But the more likely scenario is that it's a team with money and prospects. A team like the Yankees, the Cubs, the Red Sox. I would throw the Giants in that category, though I don't know that they would be willing to do that kind of deal. Farhan Zaidi as president of baseball operations, I don't know that it's his thing. The Yankees, perfect fit. Soto, the left-handed bat they need. A star going forward if they choose to re-sign him. It makes all the sense in the world. And they have young players to, to trade. Cubs, the same. I don't know that they would be as aggressive as the Yankees. Red Sox, they'd have to move Verdugo in some other kind of deal, but he would make a lot of sense for them too, and their incoming president of baseball operations, Craig Breslow. I could create other scenarios as well, but those teams would be among the ones that I would expect would be involved with Juan Soto.